So friends, in our MU class for orals, for the electrical oral, there are some questions asked on the topic neutral system. So the questions are as follows. What is insulated neutral system? What is earth neutral system? Neutral systems used on low voltage. Neutral system used on high voltage. Difference between earth and insulated neutral system. Advantages of insulated neutral system and advantages of earth neutral system. So friends, I have tried to cover all the questions. So moving towards my first question, insulated neutral system. So insulated neutral system is also known as neutral insulated system and in a neutral insulated system a single earth fault occurring in a system would not cause any earth current to flow in ship cell. So if there is a single earth fault then also there will be no current flow in the ship cell. This is because a single earth fault current does not provide a complete circuit for earth current to flow. So no protective trip will operate and system will continue to function normally. So in our neutral insulated system, a single earth fault cannot trip the system so it will work as it was working. However, if a second earth fault occurs on another line in the insulated system, the two earth faults together will be equivalent to a short circuit and the resulting earth fault current will operate protection devices and cause disconnection of the circuit. So friends, summarizing my insulated neutral system. So friends, in this, if there is a single earth fault, it will not trip the system. But if there is a second earth fault, so then it will behave like a short circuit and it will result to activate the protection device like a trip and it will disconnect the system. So this is used on low voltage system of 440 volt AC. So friends, this is what the insulated neutral system is and this is used on low voltage system friend this is the circuit diagram of the single phase ac insulated system and three phase insulated neutral system and down one are single phase earth neutral system and three phase earth neutral system so here you can see that in our single phase insulated system three phase insulated system the neutral is insulated but in our earth neutral system you can see that our neutral is earth so this is the main difference between both and in my next slide I will show you what is earth neutral system and how the connection is there I will brief you and explain you about that. So now moving towards our next question what is earth neutral system. So when a earth neutral system of generation is used a thing is to be through a resistor the resistor limits the earth fault current to a value not greater than the full load current of the larger generator on the switchboard section. To limit this earth current, a neutral earthing resistor is connected to the earth neutral of the source. So friends, in our earth neutral system, we are having a resistor which is known as neutral earthing resistor. This is used to limit the earth fault current to a value not greater than the full load current. So this is used to only limit the and it is connected to our neutral. But in our insulated neutral system, there was no resistor. It was directly insulated. But here we are using a resistor. If a single earth fault occur in the line of an earth neutral system, then it would be equivalent to a short circuit fault. The reason being the earth neutral creates a closed path for the earth current to flow through the hull of the vessel. Since this path has a minimal resistance, the earth current can increase to a very large extent. And this is used on high voltage systems about 1000 volt AC. So friends, as you have seen in our insulated neutral system, if there were single fault, nothing happens. But if there was a second fault, then only it behaves like a short circuit. But here, if there is a single earth fault, then also it will behave like a short circuit and it will trip the circuit. So this is the main difference between both. So friends, here you can see that this is the earth neutral system and we are having a NER neutral earth resistor for earthing. So you can see that these are the resistors which is used to limit the earth fault current. So this is what the circuit is and friends summarizing the earth neutral system so you can see the neutral is connected to the hull with the help of a resistor which is also known as neutral earth resistor so sometimes the surveyor is asking in the construction how it is connected so you now you can tell about that now moving towards my next question advantages of insulated earth neutral over earth neutral system so it maintains the continuity of the electrical equipments hence critical equipments are not cut off in case of earth fault Single earth fault does not cause a short circuit. So these are the advantages of insulated earth neutral system. Now advantages of earth neutral system over insulated neutral system. Cuts off the electrical equipment as soon as earth fault occurs. This saves the instrument. Only one earth fault is enough to cause the earth fault and hence the short circuit. 
so both are having their advantages so friends as you know that low voltage system is not dangerous as for high voltage system so if we are using high voltage system so we have to use earth neutral system because it will trip the equipment and it will save because if the high voltage is carrying over and there is some fault so there is a chance of fire so that is the reason we are using earth neutral system on high voltage because it will cut off on a single earth fault so friends hope you are clear about all the questions which i covered in this video and these are the questions which are asked in our electrical oral so friends if this video was helpful please like and share the video and subscribe the channel marine health board